everyone, welcome to my channel, Rue's Review, and today I have my April Ipsy. Yes, you did hear me right, my April Ipsy. I am filming this on May the 6th. I received this yesterday, May 5th. So, I waited a long time for this little bag. I hope it's a good one. Um, so I guess let's dive in. It's been so long, I don't even remember what they sent me. Uh, I really have no idea. I do know I did get some add-ons. So I remember ordering these. I ordered a couple face masks. This first one is a peach face mask with Iceland Glacier water. Um, it contains natural ingredients and it's gentle to the skin. And then I also got a papaya one and these were $3 and that was $3 for both. So it wasn't $3 for one, it's three for both, same here. This is a two day mask. It's calming and soothing and it has aloe. This again is a two day, it's pore care and clarifying and it has the two masks. That was also $3. So those were a really good deal, I felt. And I'm really excited to try those on and see how I like them. And then here is, hmm. Here is the bag. I like the outside of the bag. It's like, um, it kind of reminds me of Under the Sea. I don't know why I think of like, the Little Mermaid and um, the Little Crab. Anyway, I think a Little Mermaid and it just kind of really reminds me of Under the Sea. The thing is, you won't be able to probably see it. Maybe you can. It looks like someone's cat got a hold of it. Like when my cat claws something um, that they shouldn't and they put those little holes in it. And it's kind of everywhere and it's just really weird. It's on the back here. So right off the bat, my bag looks damaged. Um, and it's not just like one little spot, it's kind of multiple spots. Maybe that's the way it's supposed to be. Maybe that's the way the fabric is. I don't know, but it really looks like if I didn't know any better, I would have thought my cat got a hold of this. Not starting off good. So first, I didn't even get my April bag till May. Then my bag comes and it's damaged. I do like the little lips zipper thing. It's kind of cute. So let's see what we have inside. It does say force of nature. So I'm guessing that's the theme. Yes. For force of nature. Yes, April. Um, whether you love your naked face, feel naked without your red lipstick, do what feels natural to you. When confidence is the first step in your routine, you can't be stopped. So let's see what we have in this bag here. All right, this first thing I have here is this, they call it a deluxe sample size. I'm not really sure how deluxe it is. Feel Beauty 4D Hydrolonic Acid Under Eye Cream. No more tired eyes. This multitasking eye cream uses flower extracts to minimize dark circles, plus moisturize, and it has four types of hydrolonic acid to create a smoothing and plumping effect that's both instant and long lasting. Like I said, they say this is a deluxe sample size. I don't know about that. Uh, the full size product of this would be $45. Okay, and it does have a little seal on it. The thing too with these little deluxe sample sizes is it's kind of like a lot of air. 
Again, it's like a bag of chips. Not as much as it appears to hold. I am excited to try that product though and to see how it works. All right, the next thing I have here, Serum Kind Facial Serum, which I have so many serums, I don't really need a deluxe sample size of it, but in fact, I think when I um, took my quiz, I said I don't want serums. And every time um, in a bag, when you go to, you know, rate it, I say I'm not a fan of serums. But anyhow, Serum Kind Black Blossom Drop. This award-winning serum contains the perfect combination and concentration of cruelty-free ingredients like black tulips extract, to strengthen your skin's protective barrier for a soft, subtle feel. The full size of this would be $53. And here's our itty bitty little deluxe size thing, a serum. Again, look at it. It, all, it has a lot of air and it only comes up to here, the serum part. Hmm. Not impressed so far. We have so many strikes against this bag. It's about to be out. Um, the next thing I'm just gonna reach in is this Hey Honey Boosted Honey Rich Moisturizer. This it seems a little better anyhow. Get ready to glow. This luxurious cream plumps, brightens, and moisturizes to give dry, dull-looking skin a dewy, luminous look. Plus, it's infused with honey to minimize redness and inflammation. The full-size product of this is $51. This is the first thing so far I'm excited to see and try. Uh, I do have a lot of redness on my face uh, when I'm not wearing makeup, so this I'm excited to see how it works and to try it. So that's exciting. Um, the next thing I have here is this right here. This is Anastasia Beverly Hills mini eye primer. When we spend precious time perfecting our eye looks, we want them to last and last. This water resistant primer creates a smooth base for your cream, powder, lid, or loose pigment eyeshadows to blend on flawlessly and stay put all day. Plus the light and hue makes colors pop. The MSRP of this would be $13. I am actually excited to try this because I don't have an eyeshadow primer and I'm looking forward to trying that. So, okay, two things added, two things I didn't care for, two things I do. Let's see if this is the tiebreaker. Oh, it is. Awesome. Okay, here we go. It is by Milk. And it is Milk Makeup Kush High Volume Mascara Mini. No lash left behind. This conditioning mascara is infused with hemp derived cannabis oil to make your lashes long and lush. And heart shaped fibers that lock onto lashes for a major volume and lift. Plus the tapered brush has crisscross bristles that coat every lash. Full size is $24, which is not bad for a mascara. I'm really excited about this. Let's look at the wand and then, oh, it's a nice wand. Here's the wand, nice and plump and full. So that's really nice. I'm really excited to get this because I did just get a Milk Eye Lash Primer and I'm excited to see how these two work together. The primer works amazing, by the way. Ipsy claims that the value of each bag is at least 
50 plus dollars. I'm not really agreeing with that at the moment. I do not feel that each one of these items here is $10. So each of these five would have to be at least $10 in order for it to be a $50 bag. I don't, I don't know guys. I really am not seeing these as $10 each. That's just me. Maybe I'm just salty because there's been so many issues with this particular Ipsy. Um, I didn't get it till May. My bag seems jacked up. <laughs> it's like some little thing attacked it. And then two of these products I just am not in love with. So like I said, maybe I'm just a little salty and um, well, that's, so anyhow, it is $12.95 a month. If it does not improve, because this is actually the second month I got it extremely late. And I emailed them and talked to them. They just say, oh, watch the tracking information and thanks for your patience. Um, a little more than that, maybe. Maybe give me, I don't even need something free, but throw on a hundred points to my, my points. <laughs> so I can, you know, maybe get something from the store, you know, just, I don't know, do something besides my patience because my patience is getting thin. That being said, it is a fun bag for $12.95. But if this kind of thing continues, I will not be spending the money for this bag. I will, I know I get my Macy's and I love getting my Macy's and they have really nice, good quality products and that's $15. So compared to this, mm, no. I'll give them another chance or two, but after that, if they do not improve, I will be canceling my membership. I know a lot of people were having issues with their April bags. Um, did you have an issue receiving yours? Did yours come real late? Did you finally get yours? Was your bag jacked up like a little claw marks? Is that just the fabric that they used? or is it just my bag? <laughs> Please let me know. I would love to hear your comments. I would love to know about your Ipsy bag. Yeah, I just wanna thank you so much for being here and taking the time to view my channel. I really, really appreciate it. I have other unboxings, Wine Wednesdays. I have uh, Mascara Mondays and Sit Down With Me on Sunday, which is kind of like just a product review. Well, guys, until next time.